good morning to all of you today we will discuss about the insect mouth parts mouth parts of insect are of various types different group adapted to different kind of food habitat because of their different food habitat mouth parts are adapted for various mode of feeding habitat here is most common five type of mouth parts are present among them first one is the biting and chewing so this type of mouth part are supposed to be the most primitive type of mouth part it will believe to be evolved from biting and chewing type of mouth parts other mouth parts all other mouth parts are uh, to be believed that they evolve from biting and chewing type of mouth parts biting and chewing type mouth parts consist of the labrum forming the upper lip mandibles a pair of mandibles a pair of maxillary second maxillary which is fused and form the lip in forming the lower lip hypopharynx and the epipharynx is the different type of mouth parts first one is the biting and chewing type mouth parts which are present in orthoptera and other insect also here is the chewing and leaping type of mouth parts present in honeybee piercing and sucking type of mouth parts in these both kind of mouth parts are piercing and sucking type of mouth part this type of found in mosquitoes and this type of mouth parts are present in the bugs bad bug disease so this is the third one fourth one is the sponging type of mouth parts found in house fly or this one is a siphoning type of mouth parts present in butterflies so these are the five kind of mouth parts are present in insect is the basic type of mouth parts that is the biting and chewing type of mouth parts here is the labrum labrum with a pair of mandibles a pair of first maxillary which contains cardos types placenia gyria and maxillary pal 3 to 5 segmented maxillary pal there is the lower lip that is known as labium which is fused together that is the known as second maxillary also this fused together and form the combined structure submentum this one is the mentum this is the prementum or which contains the labial pan and the glossa and paraglossa this is the labial pan same kind of structures are present here in biting and chewing type of mouth part color diagram the labrum is the median somewhat rectangular flat like structure the mandibles are paired and fused towards as at the end of the piece they work transversely by two set of muscles to masticate the food the first maxillary are the paired and lies one on either side of the head capsule behind the mandibles each possesses a five jointed maxillary pan with a tactile organ first maxillary help in holding the food the second maxillary are paired but fused to form the lower lip its function is to push the masticated food into the mouth the hypopharynx is a single median tongue like process at whose the base is common salivary duct opens the hypopharynx is a single small membranous piece lying just under the labrum beard test words this type of mouth parts are found in orthopteran insect like cockroach grasshopper cricket etc these also found in silverfish termites earwigs beetles some hymenoptera and 
greater pillars of Lepidoptera. That will work. The chewing and lapping type mouth part. Chewing and lapping type of mouth parts present in honeybee and wasp. This type of mouth parts are modified for collecting the nectar pollen from the flowers and also the molding the wax. As is found in honeybee and wasp, they consist of the labrum apiferinx mandible, first pair of maxillae, and second pair of maxillae. Labrum lies below the glyphus. Below the labrum is a flashy apiferinx, which is the organ of test. Mandibles are short, smooth, and spatulate. Situated one on either side of the labrum, used in molding wax and making the honeycomb. Labium, second pair of mycelium, has reduced paraglossy, glossy, united, and elongated to form the so called retractile tongue. At its tip is a small labellum. The honey spoon and the labial palps are elongated. Glossa is used to gather the honey. It is an organ of touch and test. The first pair of mycelium are placed on either side of labium. The bias is small maxillary palps, lacinia is very much reduced, but galia are elongated in great height. Galia and labial palps. Four, a tube enclosing the glossy, which move up and down to collect nectar from the flower nectaries. Nectar is sucked up through a tube, so formed by the pumping action of the pharynx, the labrum, and mandibles help in carrying the food. Third one, piercing and sucking type of mouth parts, which is needle shaped structures found in the mosquitoes and bugs. This type of mouth parts are adapted for piercing the tissues of the animal and plant to, to suck blood and plant usage. And found in dipteran like the mosquitoes and hemipterans like bugs and aphids. They usually consist of the labium, labrum, epipharynx, mandible, maxillary, first pair, and hypopharynx. However, for the sake of easy description, this type of mouth parts can be discussed in the following two headings, piercing and sucking type of mouth part in mosquitoes. The labium is modified to form a long, straight, classic tube called process. It has a deep labial groove on its upper side. The labial palps are modified to form two conical lobes at the tip of the proboscis called labella, which pierce tactile bristles. The labrum is long little like. The epipharynx is fused with the labrum. The labrum epipharynx thus covers the labial group dorsally from inside. These structures appear C shape in transverse section, having a group called food channel. Mandible, maxillary, and hypopharynx are modified to form middle like stylets, which are placed in labial group in male mosquitoes. The mandibles are absent. Mandibles are finer than the maxillary, but both have salite edge at their tip. The hypopharynx possesses is salivary duct which open at tip. Piercing and sucking type of mouth parts in bugs. In bad bugs, the labium consists of three jointed proboscis. The mandibles and maxillary are modified to form stylates. The mandibular stylates possess blade like tip while maxillary stylates possess saw like tip. The labrum is flat like and covers the labial groove at the base on the Of the forest style plates, the, the mandibles are placed externally in the labial groove, while both the maxillary are placed internally in the labial groove. The maxillary are grooved and placed in such a way that they form an upper food channel and lower salivary channel. 
hypopharynx and hypopharynx are absent. Sponging type of mouth parts adapted for the sucking the liquid or semi liquid food found in the house flies and some other fly, flies. They consist of labrum, hypopharynx, maxillary, labium, and hypopharynx. Mandibles are entirely absent. In fact, which type of mouth parts? The labium is the lower limb is well developed and modified to form a long, glassy, and retractile proboscis. The proboscis is divisible into three distinct parts rostrum and the basal proboscis. It is the broad, elongated, and concept basal part of the proboscis articulates proximity. With the head and ears, a pair of unjointed mandibles that represent the mandibles. Ostellum or the medi proboscis. It is the middle part of the proboscis, bears a mid dorsal coral root and a ventral toothed, chitinized, blade like cheek and mentum. A double as blade like hypopharynx is located deep inside the oral tube. It pierces salivary duct and closes the groove of the labrum epipharynx form. From below, the labrum epipharynx is a long, somewhat flattened and groove structure covering the oral loop. The food channel are, or channel is the spoke by labium epipharynx and the hypopharynx. The labella and distal process it is the distal part of the process and consists of two broad flatten and oval sponge pads having a series of channels called pseudo-breaking. These open externally by a double row of lateral holes through which liquid food is taken in. The pseudo tracheal coverage converges into the mouth line between the two lobes of labella, which leads into the food channel. Siphoning type of mouth parts are adapted wonderfully for the sucking flower nectars and fruit juices found in butterflies and mouths belonging to the Lepidoptera classic. They consist of small labrum, coiled proboscis, reduced mandibles, and labium. The hypopharynx and epipharynx are not found. The labrum is a triangular sclerite attached to the front of fly ears of the head. Proboscis is formed a well developed and greatly innovative modified area of nature. It is grooved internally to form a food channel and canal through which food is drawn up the mouth. At last, when proboscis is not in use, it is tightly coiled beneath the head and is becomes extended in response to food stimulus. The extension of proboscis is achieved by exerting a fluid pressure by the blood mandibles. Mandibles are either absent or greatly reduced, situated on the lateral side of the labrum. The labium is triangular plate like bearing labial valves. So this is all about the siphoning type of mouth parts. All kind of diagrams are given in the first slide. Here is the siphoning type of mouth parts of butterflies. Here is the sponging type of mouth parts in house flies. Here is the piercing and sucking type of mouth parts in piercing and sucking insect bed bug. Here is the piercing and sucking type of mouth parts in mosquitoes. Here is uh, chewing and lipping type of mouth parts in honeybees. Or here is the basic or the fundamental type of mouth parts, biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Thank you, thank you very much.